What is up, I'm Sergeant Ballistic, but you guys can call me Brian. Thank you for checking out this video. Today I figured we'd switch it up and do a little bit of a quick unboxing. That's right, we've got a Loot Crate here. For those of you who don't know, Loot Crate is kind of like a monthly subscription service where they curate a lot of cool, fun, kind of geeky things like comic books, games, uh, a lot of different stuff like Dungeons and Dragons, just all sorts of uh, pop culture things. They include things like t-shirts, figurines, a bunch of fun little trinkets, posters and stuff like that. And uh, it's just really fun. Now before any of you freak out and be like, oh my God, I can't believe he's trying to sell us loot crates. I thought you weren't like that, blah, blah, blah. I don't get these for free. I don't get paid. I don't have an affiliate uh, with them at all. I've been paying for these for myself for about two and a half years now. I just like receiving things. I like opening stuff. You guys couldn't tell from my channel and all the unboxing. I just like doing stuff like that. So since I'm getting them, I figured I might as well try to get some content out about it, get you guys more content. So let's get into it. <laughs> All right, so as I mentioned, I've been getting these for quite a while, um, but I haven't really done any content on them in a long time. I did like two unboxings a long, long time ago, but um, I actually don't even know what the uh, theme for this month is. Every month there's a different theme that kind of ties everything together. So let's kind of find out. So starting off, you've got Aguilar crouching and this is a pop vinyl of course and this is of course from Assassin's Creed and this is kind of funny I just yesterday went out and watched Assassin's Creed with a couple of my buddies the movie it's it's pretty good it's not you know like a, a cinematic jewel or anything but it was cool seeing the uh, Assassin's Creed universe kind of brought into the real world and modern times which a lot of people have been waiting for seeing the animus in real life and how they imagined it and then going back to see um, this guy it was like way back in 1492 you know when Columbus was sailing the ocean blue um, and it was in Spain and during the Crusades and Knights Templar fighting against the Assassin's Creed and yeah so this is pretty cool i'm gonna like probably keep this around i i do love the assassin's creed um uh, franchise i didn't play the last one all that much i kind of needed to take a break but you know with this movie coming out i'm kind of getting back into it um some really cool scenes in the movie where they kind of allude to and show some of the uh you know some some elements of the game that are really really cool so starting off pretty interesting not exactly sure what the theme is yet but hopefully we'll be able to tell uh, coming up so next up we have a t-shirt which is one of the best things um, these cost anywhere from like 20 to like $30 and if you consider that you know some of these t-shirts sold alone can sometimes be $30 in of themselves getting a t-shirt is a great way to kind of justify it and a lot of these are limited runs this is says F society it's kind of got like a um, almost like a mask it's almost like a Banksy graffiti type thing and it's uh almost like an anonymous mask so I think this might be from um what's that show called what's they got uh the weird looking guy I robot oh no not I robot um what is it called I forget but let me see if it says Mr. Robot it says it right in there so it says F Society I'm guessing this is maybe like his his mark or his avatar or something like that in that show so that's another interesting kind of hint at what the theme is and I'm still not sure we've got Mr. Robot hacking TV show we've got Assassin's Creed which is like a parkour history based video game pop vinyl so let's keep it going next up we have a book it's like a whole hardcore book which is very interesting I've never gotten I've gotten a couple books from them, but nothing like this. Figure Fantasy, the pop culture photography of Daniel Picard. Very, very cool. And it says, forward by Simon Pegg, afterward by Kevin Smith, who are two really, really geeky film guys. So that kind of makes sense. So yeah, let me crack into this and see what it's like. These are pretty sweet. So I'm gonna have to get some B-roll of this so you guys can actually see what I'm saying. But it's got like, he sets up these elaborate scenes and I'm not sure how much of it is photoshopped and how much of it is like, you know, actually just all made with figurines and stuff like that. But you can see that's Simon uh, Pegg from um, uh, Shaun of the Dead. Yeah, he's got the Jason mask and he's got a crit bat and I'm guessing you just beat up a zombie or something like that. 
So that's really, really cool. On the front, we've got Yoda just wrecking some stormtroopers with like a force push, and he's, he's taking a selfie or something like that on the phone. I don't know, that's kind of cool. But I'm gonna look through this a little bit. Another interesting one, you got a storm, or a clone trooper kind of just raking the yard, and then there's a battle droid jumping into the leaves, just gonna just wreck his hard work. Roger, roger. Oh! Oh, I hate these guys. This is from Buffy the Vampire Slayer, and it's like an episode where these creepy masked guys float around and they like steal people's voices or something. That, oh, I get shivers thinking about that. Like I was in high school when that show came out or that episode came out and it, oh, it freaked me out so bad. This one is kind of awesome. <laughs> it's Joker. So I'm guessing these are in Photoshop because there's no way there's a Joker figure in that big. But it's Joker in Walmart picking out a Batman costume. That's kind of hilarious. This, this, this is really, really cool. This is, I would imagine this is at least like 20, $25. Art books, you know, are kind of expensive and printed, you know, kind of full bleed on photo, like a uh, nice glossy paper. This is pretty cool. So I'm going to have to read through this entire thing. Uh, read the captions, read the forward, read the afterwards. I really like uh, Simon Pegg and Kevin Smith. They're geeks like me. But yeah, that's, um... That makes this worth it. I think just this alone, you know, did it for me. I like the t-shirt, not a huge fan of Mr. Robot. Really like the pop vinyl, but right now this is definitely the star of the show, in my opinion. Then we're getting into some more small things. We've got an Assassin Creed loot pen. That's kind of um, another common thing. They have these pins that they often put in there and they're kind of collectible. You can kind of like put them on your backpack and stuff like that. So this one, this Assassin's Creed. Of course, it's got the Assassin's Creed logo on there and um, yeah, so always nice having a good pin. I need to get like a bag or something and just start putting all my pins on them. Firefly Independence Patch, that is cool. So I'm a big fan of Firefly. And uh, this is the patch was created using original artwork from files in the TV show Firefly. Didn't Hey Chapman, Firefly graphic designer, is created as accurate both has certified it as accurate to both the design and orientation of this patch. So that's pretty cool if anybody's looking to do um, maybe a Malcolm Reynolds cosplay. And then we've got the Loot Crate magazine and it reveals the uh, the theme. Did you guys get it? It's Revolution. So you, this is late as hell, it's January and I'm unboxing the December one, but Revolution. So that does make sense. You've got Star Wars, which is a really big, you know, um, theme, has a really big theme of Revolution. Assassin's Creed, which is about revolution. You've got uh, Mr. Robot, which is kind of a modern um, take on revolution. And then you've got the Firefly, which, you know, those were uh, revolutionists that um, uh, fought, you know, in the war and then became a crew. So very, very cool. Another cool thing is that a lot of the Loot Crate boxes, they can be turned inside out and they kind of make um, some kind of a scenery that you can set some of the stuff up. And in this case, it's kind of got, got like a gothic cathedral look which goes with the assassin's creed and uh yeah that is about it so overall i gotta say i'm pretty happy with this month's um loot crate so that book is really really cool that's going to be a really really nice piece of kind of like um uh, uh coffee table um reading that you know can start some conversations and stuff like that i really like that guy's work I have forgotten what his name was, but I always see his work popping up on um, Reddit and um, just forums and stuff like that, uh, Emger and all that kind of stuff. So uh, yeah, really, really happy with this. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, give it a thumbs up and maybe share it with a friend who you know is into some of these things or might be enjoying um, Loot Crate themselves, recommend it to them. Again, I don't have an affiliate link or anything like that. I just like geeky cool stuff and wanted to share it with you guys. So subscribe to the channel. If you did enjoy this, you want to see more loot crates, let me know in the comments if you guys want to see more loot crates or maybe other monthly subscriptions. I like getting stuff and I like opening it for you guys. If you couldn't tell that by now, you're crazy. But uh, thank you guys once again for watching. I will see you in the next video. Peace.